Okay, so today we're going to be doing a big old clean up and a refurb of this place. Uh, luckily, I have a huge roll of carpet that was donated to me by a viewer and subscriber. So we're going to be putting all of that in here. All of these bikes are going to go out. All of the tools are going to go out. Everything's going to get reorganized and put back in here because I've got a fourth bike to come in here now because we've got one, two, three. Somehow I've got to make space for a fourth one. So let me show you what's going on in here at the moment. What we've got currently at this moment in time is the main bike that's got to come out. The project bike that's on the back burner that has to sort of get sorted out somehow. Then the engine and the block that goes in this bike, which is the current project bike. But I need enough space to be able to put this bike over here for the winter. Have both of these bikes on my bench and then space over here for the fourth bike to come in because that one will be used throughout the winter. Of course, we've got all of the tools on the floor around here and just everything is a little bit of a mess in here at the moment. So I'm going to get all of this cleaned up. This is the uh, big old roll of carpet that was donated. And uh, this is the old carpet. It's pretty rank. So we'll get everything out. We'll get even the sofa, bikes, ramps, tires, parts, compressor, everything out. New carpet can be cut into shape. The bench will stay because that is too heavy and awkward to try and move. And then we'll get everything back in it. So stay tuned and we're going to try and rip this entire place up today gut the whole thing and uh yeah let's go for it <laughs> reckon i could be like a uh, brand new mechanical kind of steampunk saxophone player be like doo -doo 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 -doo. wait how's a saxophone sound it's like a i mean if anyone wants an old v-line bsm v-line exhaust just hit me a message, I guess, because, I mean, I've cut this up, but I'm not going to use it for anything. So, I've got loads of parts in here for Yamahas, so if anyone wants any, just hit me up, I guess. Because, uh, apart from that, it might turn into a little sax. Okay, let's get back to it. We live lives on a small screen nation We control the airwaves, no negotiation I refuse to think we need saving Something good will come from creation And when we think that the world is too anxious We'll adapt to fall, survive, and save it What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah
So I'm at the stage now where I've decided I'm leaving this workbench in here and I'll move it to the other side of the carpet on its leg. I've cracked open the good old monster. Oh god, that's nice. And we're now at the stage where I have rolls of wallpaper to be going up on that there wall. So, the question is, how are we gonna do it? That's why I have two. Yeah, there we go. So, these have got like a geometrical shape on them where it's gonna make that whole wall white with like black triangle zigzag shapes, I think, I don't know. I bought them online really cheap at an auction. It should be enough to do two walls in this place, but that's the only one that's plain and has accessibility. So that's the one, yeah, that we're gonna do. So here we go, back to a time lapse. We live lives on a small screen nation. We control the airwaves, no negotiation. I refuse to think we need saving. Something good will come from creation. And when we think that the world is too anxious, we'll adapt to all survive and save it. What keeps you up at night, yeah? Make all the demons quiet, yeah? We were built. Okay, so as you can see behind me, the wallpaper is officially up. Let me come grab you and we can take a little sneak peek at it together. So, this wallpaper is a self-adhesive wallpaper, so it's like vinyl kind of print, you know, when you peel off vinyl and it like sticks itself. It's like that, so you don't need to do a pasting or anything. Um, it's laid quite nicely, however, definitely on purpose, when I laid this second one in, I accidentally didn't get the lines lined up because I didn't really pay attention to it so I didn't think about it so then from there on I decided I was going to set them out half a line apart from each other to give it a sort of staggered effect and yeah it's not the cleanest but we come back out here we look at it definitely gives it a nicer vibe in here you know so um I'm thinking that eventually I'm going to use this wall as a photo wall for the bikes. That was always the plan. So I'm going to see if one day, maybe soon, maybe not soon, I can get a big resurrected rides like um, acrylic sign printed and pin it on the wall back here. Um, and then the bikes can go on the floor down here and sign up there and you can take pictures of the bikes. But yeah, so that's that bit done. Um, I bought a box of 32 rolls of wallpaper. I've used two, four, six, eight. I've used eight, is that right? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I've used eight rolls of wallpaper to do that. So I've got, what's that, 20... Oh, my brain is so fried right now. Ugh. Like 26? Yeah. Four, five, six. Oh, wait, no, seven, eight, 20... Four. Yeah, 24. I've got 24 rolls of wallpaper left in the box. So, and I've got some offcuts there, so I might try and use those offcuts to spruce up the workbench a little bit. Um, and with those other 24, I don't really know because this wall, I can't really get to well enough. And plus it's got a sofa that lives on it down there, bench seat, compressor, it doesn't need it. This wall back here, how the hell are you going to wallpaper that? And this wall here, you're just not going to be able to. So I don't know what else could use the wallpaper unless I use it as like a decorative thing on stuff like the workbench. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. But yeah, stage one. Well, actually, stage one is clean this all out. So stage one is complete. Stage two is the wallpaper. And that's now done. So stage three is the carpet. I'm going to get that carpet in here. I'm gonna lay that um, and then we can start doing a reassembly.
Okay, so I've just finished cutting the carpet out around the fireplace, just like roughly, nice and neatly. And I've put the carpet against that back wall and I thought I'll roll it out this way and cut it round and see what happens. And this is just a random length of carpet that I was given. And right in the other back corner, look at this. It's nearly if not already, spot on the exact length of this workshop. Now this hasn't been pre-cut or anything and I had no idea how long it was. It was just given to me by a subscriber. So once again, thank you very much, Simon, because um, it's making this workshop so much nicer to be in. So yeah. Also a big shout out and thank you to the other guy on the auction who put up a very lousy bidding wall for the wallpaper. I think the 32 rolls of that wallpaper cost me like 20 quid, including postage. So yeah, but this carpet is starting to go in here really nicely. So um, I'll finish getting it cut in and uh, you can see what it will look like. I think I'm gonna move you up into this corner now so you get a better view. Okay, so I'm now at the point where the only things that need to go back into the workshop are the sofa I'm currently sat on, because I need a hand to put that in there, the uh, motorbike over there, a couple of scrap pieces, um, and then we're all done. But at this current situation, we've just loaded the motocross bike in off camera um, because it was just a little bit fiddly. So here we are. We've got the bench going this way this time with that project bike on it like that and this one on here like this so it's on the tiny little scissor lift lifted up and then strapped down so it can't roll backwards or forwards and then we've got the new motocross bike over in the corner over there out the way workbench is still accessible so yeah come into the workshop of course you can walk around freely the only thing that's going to be a little bit of a pain for the time being is this part of the bike however sooner or later all of this is coming off anyway, because I'm replacing these with either Fox or Olin's, because it's going to be an enduro bike for off-roading, obviously, um, and this section here, but this is going to come off as well soon, so it's not the end of the world. And then my daily bike can live here again like it always does, and the sofa can live back there like it always has, because then you've still got a way to view the projector. Um, and yeah, I just need to find a place now for all the parts for the bikes that I've got. So I'm thinking all the parts for this bike that are laying around can go under the bench there. All the parts for this bike that are laying around, I've already put a few of them under the bench. So you've got like the original seat, the front mud guard, the oil tank, the starter solenoid. The fuel tank didn't fit under there. So the fuel tank's down there next to the compressor um, and the blocks on the bench over there because that's going to be stripped down soon. That's the next major bit of work. Um, and yeah, we're pretty much there, you know. It's getting there. It is getting there, so, yeah, let's get back to it. 2,000 years later. Okay, so because it's gotten a little bit chaotic over here, I have finished this off off camera because I didn't have enough battery 
and I had to get some assistance in here. So I've now got motocross biking, project bike one, project bike two on the bench. I have had a hand lifting this sofa up and in. I have then also bought the daily bike in here and I've put a couple new racks up on the helmet rack. So I've got my new motocross helmet up here, which is lovely. My very first ever helmet, which cannot go on the roads anymore because I had high speed crash in it. So it just lives here now. My normal helmet is in my bedroom, so it's not here. And then my vintage helmet that I wear on special occasion and my work helmet with the sexy goggles on it that you can win if, uh, you know, you play the game that's on my YouTube. Um, go have a look at my short about the QR codes. I'll give you a little link up here for it. It will give you all the rules and everything about winning a 250 quid pair of goggles. Um, but yeah, there we go. The workshop is now all up and together. So um, that's the end of the video. So thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Um, and tune in for the next video, which will be myself stripping down the AT2 engine to the gearbox, most likely. Um, or I'll be taking more parts off the chassis. I'm not quite sure what it will be yet. But hey, who, who knows? It might even be a um, day out on the motocross bike. I don't know. I'm going to use a... I'm going to use this bike as a video as well soon, so that might actually be the next one about what to look for when buying a motocross bike. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, if any of you guys are wrecked for Monster and you want to sponsor me because I drink loads of Monster when I'm out here, um, just send me a little message. Oi!